So all of the major car manufacturers, be it Ford, Vauxhall General Motors, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, you name it, they all seem to recommend a two-year interval as how often to replace brake fluid. And so why is that? Because changing your brake fluid every two years seems to be overkill, right? Because what can possibly go wrong with it in that amount of time? It's just in that reservoir and it's sealed up inside your brake pipes. Well, the problem is your brake fluid reservoir cap has to be vented because otherwise when you use the brakes and the fluid moves down, then the reservoir would collapse because no air would come in to take the place of the fluid that's moved on elsewhere. And so even though it appears to be a sealed system, the brake fluid is actually exposed to the atmosphere, at least to a small extent. And now we're starting to get to the crux of the problem because brake fluid is hygroscopic, which means it readily absorbs moisture, water, from the air. But what's the big problem? I mean, it's a hot day out there and some nice cold water sounds about perfect for me right now. Well, it turns out that the braking system doesn't agree with me and it doesn't want any water. And that's because whenever you think about water in cars, you also think about corrosion, especially if you've got some old cars like I do. And so it turns out that once your brake fluid has absorbed a certain percentage of water, then you run the risk of getting corrosion in your braking master cylinder. And your brake calipers have pistons inside them. And it turns out they don't appreciate the moisture content either. And so corrosion in your braking system is a pretty compelling reason to change your brake fluid more frequently. But it's not the only one and there's actually an even more important one. And that's about braking performance. Brand new DOT4 brake fluid has a boiling point of 230 degrees C, which is about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is known as its dry boiling point because brand new brake fluid has 0% water in it. But testing from brake fluid manufacturers shows that after just two years, that water percentage has gone up to 3.7%. And that means that the previous 230 degrees C boiling point is now down to 155 degrees C. And the 450 degrees Fahrenheit is down to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And now at this point with moisture in the brake fluid, this is known as the wet boiling point. And of course, as the brake fluid gets older, the percentage of water in it goes up and up and these boiling points come down and down. And so what's the big deal, a little bit of moisture in the brake fluid, you know, apart from the corrosion issues that we mentioned earlier? Well, the problem is this. So under heavy braking, if your brakes are getting really hot, you can actually boil the brake fluid if you've let the moisture content get too high. And when the fluid boils, it causes a void either in the brake line or actually in the uh, braking piston itself inside the caliper. And once you have a void in there, the next time you step on the brakes, it acts like a big spring. And suddenly you could find yourself with very spongy brakes with reduced braking performance. And in extreme cases, you could lose your brakes entirely, where your brake pedal feels like it goes to the floor and nothing's happening at all. Of course, that last one would be very extreme situations, very high moisture content in your brake fluid and suddenly thrown into a high performance situation for your brakes. But it's worth bearing in mind. And of course, if you've got a performance car like this one is, then it's all about the feel and the driver enjoyment. And so you want the best possible brakes that you can have. And also you need to be able to rely on them and for them to perform as you expect. We know that the car manufacturer's recommendation is for brake fluid replacement every two years. And of course, you've seen the graph now for how readily the brake fluid absorbs moisture over a period of time. So hopefully we're all in agreement that regularly replacing your brake fluid is a good idea. And I'll leave it to you to decide how frequently based on the information I've provided and how you feel about it. And if you decided you want to replace your brake fluid, I'll link to a video at the end of this one that will show you everything that you need to know. If you like this content, then please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And I've got lots of other content coming up. So if this stuff interests you, then please consider subscribing and maybe I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.